Hi, I'm Grace Spillman, a 2021 Bachelor of Fine Arts student at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas. I am a mixed media artist with a focus in painting and printmaking. I am the first born biracial child to a white mother and black father, both being you know, the first generation graduates themselves. With a sheltered upbringing, race really never came into discussion. I first entered arts in middle school after 12 years of religious homeschooling. I developed a stutter at a very young age, and due to my sheltered lifestyle, socializing was near impossible. My mother put me in drama courses as a way to learn to speak more fluently and better socialize. Early in my youth, I spent hours living in an imaginary world in my head, spinning stories of magic and adventure. Oddly, I often ended up a third character in these stories, waiting in towers for a prince or hero to come rescue me. Little did I know that this was a forced shadowing for a blossoming queer identity. Having missed many of the tools that develop socially, I learned to piece and puzzle together the things around me to create a persona that I could wear. Through continuing theater performance and design all the way through high school, I discovered queerness and a community that encouraged me to thrive and create my own space in which I could grow my own way. Sculpting my own identity is what drives my practice to this day. Clutching together what I find beautiful, strange, and endearing into objects, people, and details I observe in the world around me. It was not until my first year of college, leaving Las Vegas for a year, that I began my visual arts journey. I realized during this time that I needed to exteriorize my story, both light and dark. Creating a bridge between my conscious and unconscious mind through art making, I continued to create intuitive pieces of my most impactful experiences and memories. Through seeing them in person, I'm able to process things that I previously would not have considered real. For example, this piece I was waiting for it to end was inspired by experience I had with a friend and also many others who, after listening to me struggle more than usual with my stutter, as I was trying to complete a thought, stated, I was waiting for that to end. Taking those words, I appropriated them for myself, staggering them over and over to simulate the experience of a stutter, but visually. A very frustrating piece to complete. In this next piece called Color Revolution, a 15 by 11 screen print, I continued to create intuitively. In this work using Photoshop, I took this assortment of images from my phone and assorted them in a way in which my mind tried to make sense of them. Here I created a scene from the ceiling of Beatles Love, an apartment building of a friend, and a vampire's hand emerging from his crypt. Random things that do not exactly belong to together, but made to fit in a satisfying way. In this next piece, Devil Boy, I began my exploration of portraits. Here I screen printed a simple foreground, lamb mass in the background with a smaller object in the foreground, and an applied celestial body on the top left. A simple landscape, but then I tried to disrupt it with a white and crude devil-like figure. Her head and body are large and round with a more innocent-like appearance, but due to its size, the tonal color of the scene and its horns, it still may appear ominous, demonizing it. In this painting, Devilish, I continue to explore my interest in portraits, and in this case, a self-portrait. Raised in a Baptist household for most of my life, I believe myself to be hell-bound by my own homosexuality. In this portrait, I am taking that fear and manifesting it into the demon that I, I always believe myself to be in a hellish landscape. An amorphous body, only, to, only defined by its vibrant colors, eerie smile, and large red horns. Series Shirt Studies 1 through 4. I contemplate my feelings of deep personalization, where my existence in my body is only made aware by the loud textiles I wear over my frame. The undefined background of different shades of hues mimics my disconnection from my environment, as I often feel like I'm caught in a strange, muted dimension, just disconnecting me from my mind and my surroundings. I use these patterns as well to project myself into a space, to bring the colors I like, textiles, prints, and images, and other small but significant things into whatever space I'm in. It's like a reminder to me that when I am disconnected, that though I might feel like a ghost, I am at least a stylish one. Sheet in the mirror was made while I was in quarantine. The feeling of disconnection became even stronger as my former mechanisms of distraction became meaningless when all I had was myself to be with. My environment never became more muted, even when the color I wore stayed just as vibrant. 
Cold Wake was another painting I made in the midst of quarantine. It was based off a memory I had when one night I woke up a blank slate, not knowing who, what, where, when, or why I was. This was a time of great anxiety in my life, and my brain was working overdrive to protect itself, even at the risk of shutting down. Shits and Giggles is another ghost-like self-portrait where a large mouth is bulging out of my neck to represent the words that get stuck in my mouth. It's called Shits and Giggles because when one is exasperated to a point, you can't help but laugh, even to the point of tears. This is a landscape called Late Night Scarves. It depicts um, my late night home drive using found scarves to give the world a feeling of texture and vibrancy. Although it's very vibrant, this is a way that I depict my dear realization where the world feels just a little bit too unreal. Hush is an oil painting on panel where I am showing both my most ra racial tra traits like my lips and my skin tone, alongside my queer expression, like my paint and nails. Here they are shown as bars over my lips, as I often feel I'm not supposed to discuss both my queerness and my race in the same space. So hush is often what I have been told when I get too in to my own identity. Head or No Head is a mixed media painting on canvas involving charcoal, watercolor, oil, and fabric sewn onto canvas. It depicts two beheaded fi figures in an anonymous sexual actions. It's here to show the depersonalization and derealization that one where I can feel in moments like this involving another stranger or even a partner. Dead Girl in a Pool is my most recent painting of 2021. It involves acrylic, oil, and watercolor, and was made to show a more humorous side to me and my work. As we come out of the pandemic, I hope to be able to elevate and continue to show more of my personality and develop my identity as I continue to make. In conclusion, I am the artist I am today, not just because I had something to say, but also because art showed me that I could say something. When words fail me when they got caught in my throat, I learned that language wasn't the only way that I could express myself. And now that I am as far as I am, I don't think I'll ever be able